morning, good, good night. night, good evening, good half of noon, good all these things. Good after midnight. Good, good after, after midnight. Well, yeah, summertime. because we do have, we do have, and look, hold on, let me just start by saying this. Thank you guys. We know we had a airing time change. You guys are still watching, so we appreciate that. Thank you very, 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 very much. Right? Big up our loyal watchers and followers yes. on various platforms. Thank you very kindly. So, we're here by special request. <laughs> right? You're playing with your personal protection. You feel comfortable. Feel nice. That's the idea. <laughs> we're here by special request. Yes. Right? We, we reached out to you guys on social media. What do you want to see? And uh, one of the things you said you wanted to see was... How to set up a room. And specifically, the bedroom. Yes. And it kind of ties in so well because our last info, our last, it was the info corner or a thoys list on social media? Which one was it? It what was, was the It was a, a thoys list. Right. And the info corner. We did that info corner on the bed in a bag. Yeah. So we did that and it kind of fits in. We said, you know what? We did it on for social media for the, the smaller things. We should do it on a wider scale for yeah. all of our viewers. Right. Uh, we say we come in and we're going to set up an entire bedroom with the majority of those things coming from Bashko. Ah, Bashko. Ah, Bashko. No, let's start off the right <laughs> way, guys. Off the right way. I'm not wearing my shoes because I feel very uncomfortable wearing shoes in a bedroom. Yeah. As a matter of fact, if you have carpets, then I leave I can't my understand. shoes at the door. <laughs> See that? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you were saying about carpet. When the carpets come out, I take off mine. You're not supposed to walk on carpets. Well, it's time for you to... Step aside, actually, because the carpet is under the bed. Ooh. Now it's time to withdraw our first carpet. Bye-bye. Right? I feel that was like a... Is that magic? Yeah, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> now you see it, now you do it. All right, so what we have here, guys, is a um, Kennedy carpet. That's a brand. Uh, it's a very popular brand. We have actually sold Kennedy rugs, and they have another brand of Soho is the, the like, the side brand as it were mm -hmm. of the kennedy rug line and these are very 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 nice carpets and rugs and this one is a 100 by 150 centimeter hmm. so we're gonna hook it and unroll it otherwise known as an area rug yeah 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 for sure actually it says area rug on it on the tag oh cool alfombra de no, area no we don't rugs, know what area. that is the, <laughs> the english yes yes good and we're gonna call it floyd because it says floyd on it Go ahead. William Floyd, where you come from? Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> Go over there. All right, so we picked this rug because it kind of has a neutral tone that goes along with the hmm. color scheme of the room. It have little blue. It have little blue, which is good because we have blue accents around. So the color scheme we went with, guys, is uh, beiges and one? blues. It, I was going to put this one. And this is what happens when anyone else helps you set up a bedroom. They have opinions. Good. <laughs> Luckily, I'm stronger. So this is going here because aside from this size area rug, of course, Bashko has runners. And we just happen to have some runners nearby. Tell them, Athoy, where are we storing those runners? In the drawer. That's right, guys. <laughs> now, this I didn't furniture. Know. It was a guess. You guess? You didn't know? Yes. Oh, we've staged them quite well here. This furniture you guys are seeing, you might remember it from our last infomercial. This is the furniture that you saw that we showed you. The chest Perfect. of drawers, the wardrobe slash cabinet, and then we also have the bedside table. We said you could do it, and now we're... Hmm? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah, it says it to stay, it, it a roll up, because it, it's new, Brand guys. New. So, of course, it gonna roll up back. You just have to get it All right, now I've, I've to stay. Killed. Aha, found it. I did it. <laughs> okay. Lean. So we okay. also have Floyd's younger brother, Floyd. <laughs> so this is a runner. And we picked this color scheme because it's not quite the same. And we also wanted to show you the variety. Now, don't worry, guys. I'm going to give you the opportunity. But it looks the same. It's similar. I'm going to give you the opportunity because TV is wonderful like that to see the wide range of other things you have available in rugs, in carpets, and some other stuff. Do you want to unroll this one as well? Yes. I'm gonna, I think I know what you're going to do. I'm going to move it away. <laughs> Go ahead. My <laughs> <I> joke. <laughs> All right. There you go. And as Athoy said, you do have to kind of walk on them. After a while, they will think we can push it back a bit more into the space. Mega runners now. 
There you go. Da -da. We have another and you runner. You don't have to step on the cold ground. That's so cool. cool. We have another runner. I'm just going to show it to you guys. I like this style. I'm not going to set it up. It's not in that drawer. It's not in that drawer. Where did I put it? It's in this drawer. <laughs> if you like geometric patterns, guys, this one, as I said, it's made by Kennedy, but I mentioned to you guys, we have the, the Soho line. Okay? I actually really like this one. It's, it's that geometric style, if you like it, if you fit into those kind of things. And one of the reasons I like it as well is it kind of had that blue turquoise accent that we used for the curtains. And you kind of can bring back that color theme. That's just, I, I liked it. It looks nice. Thank you. <laughs> Full exoneration for taking. And the texture too. Oh, this is really soft. It looks like it doesn't have that soft feel, but when you look closer, can I push my finger in there? Okay. Please don't do that when you go to the store. We will have an open one that you can fungle. <laughs> Please don't burst the plastic. <laughs> it not burst. No. There. But it is a very, very soft. And the nice thing about this one as well, um, on the Soho style of rugs, let me see if I can show you guys this stuff. All right, so what you have on your back here is a slightly textured backing. So that if you're putting it on a tiled floor, it's not going to run around as much. Mm -hmm. Right? So just. But if you're concerned about things running around with you, put this back. One of the options you have available to you is to utilize grip liner. Ooh. Right? I'm, just, I'm, I'm on fire today, man. This is just flowing. I saw those in the store and I was like, what is this? Wait, go in your bathroom? Listen. It looks like the things that come in the bathroom. Grip liner has so many purposes. You could use it as a shelf liner for your glassware, you could use it for your pot, you could use it on bookshelves, you can of course use it in drawers if you don't want to be having just, you know, the, the wood against your uh, clothing or whatever's having in the drawer. But other thing you can and use this for. different colors. Yeah, we, at this store we have it in at least four different colors up there. And um, I like this because it's a very long roll. You can cut it to fit. I've actually seen people use it as placemats, use it as coasters on their table. 12 and by 240. Inches. So that is one foot wide by oh, 20 foot long. All right, that was mathematics. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> but what I want to say you can use this for, and some people do it, is that when you have a rug or a carpet that doesn't have that non-skid liner on the back of it, mm -hmm. you can trim to fit it. And you either pin it, stitch it, or glue it on to the base of your carpet, and it will not slide across the floor with you. Cool. Cool. Good. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to put this back. And then I have something else in this drawer. Why do you have a kettle in the drawer? It's not a kettle. What is it? It's a st it's a, it is a stainless steel uh, vacuum sealed flask, a.k.a. A thermos, if you want to call it that. Right? <laughs> now, I actually learned this trick from my mom and dad. OK? Now, if you're like me, or like, I don't know, like 20%, sorry, 80% of the entire population, you wake up at night and you're thirsty for like no apparent reason, right? Or you leave like from around your kitchen area very early and you lock up in your bedroom and you really should have taken water with you, but you didn't. And you don't feel like get back up so you don't drink the water. So what my folks do when I learned this is that they have one of these things and they fill it up. Also, this is very good if you have like an elderly person living with you and you want to make oh. sure that they're okay at night to have access to water. So they fill this up with cold water, and it's a vacuum sealed flask, guys. This thing is going to keep your stuff cold for a long time, right? Or hot, if that's what you want to do, right? Also good for those of you who have your Airbnbs, OK? You want to make sure people have like hot water in the room when they come in, but you don't know when they're going to come in exactly. Boom, there you go. So right? you put it on the, on the bedside table. Right. And let's say, for instance, just, I can. <laughs> You can also use one of these things. This is actually a <laughs> melamine serving platter. But one of the things you could use this for. And then you put your glass. Ta da! Aww. By the magic of TV, I will now disappear. I magically reappear. I didn't go anywhere. Ta da! And there you have your glasses. <laughs> oh, that's um, how you release the. The water? Yeah, let me show you. Open it up. It's, it's very. It's very. Name it. It's very. It's very tight. See, I'm, I'm, give, it, give, it, give it to me. Give it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks. So, guys, how does this work? That's how I keep it cool. Right. It's a double-walled, insulated uh, vacuum flask. And then here you have this rubberized seal that is activated and deactivated with this plunger. Oh. Cool. So when you press down, is the only time there's access for the water to escape the flask. Cool. Cool. And rest is back here. Good. 
And we continue. So the other things you will see in our space here, guys, is your wardrobe. Now, traditionally, a wardrobe can have many functions, but it's for your clothing for the most part. And if you have a wardrobe, you're going to need hangers to hang your things on. Well, <laughs> we've got a deal for you. A joke. <laughs> wow. wow. So I wanted to get us a chance to show the different types of hangers that you can use in your wardrobe. So you can hold the first one. Okay. Cool. It's a, a velvet coated thing. It's designed to the things on. Um, a slip off. Right. Yeah. And I'm like, nice. I didn't know we had this until I went looking for the hangers. This is another type of non-slip. It's like a, a, a bit, I don't want to say sticky, but it's very tacky. Tacky is what I want. So it's not tacky, yeah. me it look bad, I don't know. But it had fit to, there you go, good example. Well done, thank you very much, <laughs> right? So it's less likely that your clothes are gonna fall off of them. And um, also, not just fall off, one of the things that happens a lot in like a crowded wardrobe is that it will slip in a particular position and then when you take it out, it kind of sets so You know what I mean? So it won't, that won't happen as easily. And then, Ooh. I'm a big fan of these. I was wondering what these are for, these? So for like, it, it shows a picture of a bikini here. So you put the, the bra part up here, and then oh. you put the underwear part here, so it don't fall off. I did not know that. Cool. Mm. We had these. No, I didn't, ex this, sorry, this is the barcode for that. <laughs> we have these. These pants are hangers? pants hangers, trouser hangers, skirt, skirt. hangers. Um, I think these are great, and, and I think, it's a shame we don't talk about this more often because this is really useful, right? Trying to get all the plastic here. There you go. So you guys have probably seen these already, seen these before. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw the plastic at yep. this point. Cool. It's very well packaged. <laughs> Good. All right, so you have... Keep talking. I'm just trying to get this out of this. There you go. So you have a hanger part that can float independently, like it goes back and forth, and then you have the things to clip your garment onto, right? And then I think these slide. Yep, there you go. So you can adjust the positioning of where, you know, whatever it is you put in. If it is a pants, a skirt, maybe a gown, you know, it's hanging and draping down. So these are great. Also very useful if you have um, uh, a softer material, and by putting them on a traditional hanger, it ends up like printing into the material and setting like that, mm -hmm. right? You know what I'm talking about, we have these problems. Good. All right, so we're gonna put these back in here for now. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You can watch too much cartoon. You know? <laughs> Good. And um, so the other things in here would be your variety of sheet sets. Mm -hmm. We wanted to show you guys just a cross section of the available sheet sets we have. Right. This oh, is just cool. one style, guys, but I wanted to bring them up because I like the color options that came in this particular style. Mm -hmm. I admit they might be a bit masculine for the purpose of the show. <laughs> right? um, I did not bring anything floral. <laughs> no. Nothing. But Floral means that it's a woman on it. Well, I, so anyway, we um, are. I, I got this one as well. I thought this was a bit more neutral. I'm looking at the producer, but she go like, yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Me not have no white sheet from bed. Yeah, all right. So, all right. wait, pretty. <laughs> I wanted to talk about these specifically. Ooh. So there is currently a mattress protector on this bed, but we have different types of mattress protector. So this one is a, it's called a terry fabric, which is like a terry, which is like a towel fabric, guys. It does have a waterproof backing. All right. This one is very nice. It gives you a soft feel. Um, it will not be as waterproof as this one, okay? This one stretches over. This is a full zippered waterproof mattress protector, all right? So this is what you want if you have kids, you, you know, if you drink a lot of liquids in your bed, um, if you have, like, just for safety for your mattress. A mattress is an just investment. Just to keep your mattress clean. Right? So this is a great yeah. idea. Um, this is not about comfort. This will not feel as soft as this, but it is zipped all the way around and it will protect your investment that is your mattress. Hey, no, so with my little girl, every turn, my turn, me here. They never protector. have them nice mattress protector here with my little girl. It was vinyl. 
or what are those things? Some it sounds like show curtain. Know web. Yes, <laughs> every <laughs> turn you turn, you hear it like scandal bag under the something. <laughs> scandal bag. Maybe it would have been a scandal bag, you don't know. Okay, now the difference between a mattress protector and a mattress pad. Okay, mm -hmm. so a mattress protector is just to protect the mattress. A mattress pad is would have, would have some cushioning. Fluffs. Some there you go. Let's use that as Fluffs. an example. So it'll take a firmer like bed. Like in the comforters. Yes, like exactly. Like. The word is failing me. Stuffing, filling, sponge, whatever. <laughs> it have some fluff. Fitted elastic edges, superior comfort and protection from allergens. Super soft, breathable material, cool and comfortable to sleep on. And this one is important. Fits mattresses up to 15 inches deep. One of the things that would be very important is understanding the depth of your mattress, the deep pocket. So you have to know how the thickness of your mattress, because some of your comforters, protectors, sheet sets will not be able to cover it if you have like a very, very thick, like them double pillow top mattress, mm -hmm. right? It will cover some of it, but it won't get all the all way it, underneath. Oh yeah. So one of the things you can do as well, as you were mentioning before, Traditional mattress protectors make one bag of noise. noise. They're also usually made from a more plastic material, which can actually make your mattress and your bed feel a bit Hot. hotter, yeah. right? And they make your skin feel hotter on it. So what you can do, and that will work depending on how thick, how deep the mattress pad is, is you put your mattress protector on first. So you're protecting your mattress, and you put the mattress pad on oh. after, hmm? cool. for the sake of comfort. Cool. So that's a that's a great way to make a bed feel nicer and protect it at the same time. Right. You know, I like that we'll have a bed skirt. We'll have these in different colors, don't we? Yes, we do. And the cool thing about it is that for our bed ruffles or bed skirts, guys, they come in two sizes only. Full and queen. Sorry. Twin and full. Mm -hmm. And queen and king. So you only have Ooh. to worry about two different options. You don't have to worry about is it twin, is it full, is it queen and king. It's small or it's big. And once... <laughs> <laughs> and yes. it will fit. Because it this... has elastic, so yes. it will... I don't want to play with this, guys, but we're setting up the set. <laughs> we put it on, and it I walked flew. away, and we heard, boo! <laughs> yep. <laughs> it flew right off. It was hilarious, but I'm glad you guys didn't see that. It's him fault. Him never, it never was my fault, properly. indeed. So when, once I set it properly, it will flew. Yeah, it's, not going, it's been on here since Sunday, right? Sorry, that'd be three days ago for you guys. You would know that. Okay. <laughs> right. Good. Um, you can't sit under the bed that I like. Nobody not supposed to come in your house, come look under your bed. But let me have under the... Just stand up and see. Unless uh, them fast, I'm gonna lift up the bed skirt for look underneath your bed. But I'm not supposed to sit under your bed. So we're gonna continue to move along. Speaking oh, of yeah. under the bed, there's actually over by your left hand on the ground is bed are bed risers. Ooh. So this is something that a lot of people don't realize we have. I'm gonna pick it up. Make your bed look big. Well, it it has both function and style associated with it, guys. They use a step to climb up. <laughs> well, either that or say you want to give you know, I did a better, a, a more, as a higher look, a regal look if you want, to get you more space under the bed. Maybe you live in a low-lying area and you don't want your bed to wet up if rain fall, and then yeah. these can be used instead of concrete block to raise them off of the ground. And they're really easy to use. Literally, each leg, each of these, just, to go in. right. And you just put the bed leg into that. Good, I do recommend you get some help with this. As I experienced talking. <laughs> Get some help with it. <laughs> okay. Oh, good thing to note with this as well. These are plastic, so if you have a tiled floor or a concrete floor, maybe you could get some of that grip liner and just put underneath each leg yeah, as you rest it down so you're not going to have to worry about the bed sliding. Cool. Unless you want it to slide to move it around, then either way. Cool. Move it around from here. To clean under the bed. On a must clean under the bed. On a have a, people have a bad habit. Once the bed's Push it, it the never lift up. It never here. Move a bed. Move the bed and clean my house. Stop your foolishness. Do it. Suppose the bed every... <laughs> ah, the well, if it's on that, it can just... Woo, woo, and it's like across the floor. <laughs> I have issues with hidden dirt. <laughs> Good. Where were we? I'm excited about this. The la there's something, the hmm? glass, something, the pretty one. Oh, the pretty vase. So this is another way that you can decorate your space easily. So we're kind of keeping the theme going of the blues with the bait. What happened? I want under there. It's, a, it's, it's, it's pretty. It's, it's decorative. I, I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> but it's very pretty. Hello, nice. Right? Uh, and this is the code for it, which I should have taken up for the information. I'll put it back in. Good. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you guys have seen the TV on here. This is a 32-inch TV. 
I tend to believe if you're going to build a TV in your bedroom, you don't need to go huge, right? The size of your TV should be based on how far away you're viewing it, your viewing angle, that kind of thing. This is an RCA. This is not even a smart TV I brought in here. I just kind of brought it for the display. But it has an HDMI connection, so you can put your laptop somewhere beside it and just connect if you want to watch a movie and you don't have internet. No, not internet. You don't have... A um, smart TV. Yeah. What? I am so impressed. You have no idea right now. Like, you know me feel like, well, they're proud father, but I'll cry. <laughs> Listen, Cause I'm stuck in my room. HDMI I don't come out of my room. She, oh, I am home, she just I'm stuck in my room. I'm so sorry. proud of you today. What is carry on? <laughs> <laughs> Good. And um, along with that, up here, which is very, I could barely get up here because it's very tall. But we have a very simple but very nice Bluetooth. Guys, the crew is laughing. Like, yo, Omar, you can't reach it. I can barely reach it, okay? <laughs> it's a very nice, very efficient uh, JSW Bluetooth multi-input speaker system. It's not plugged in right now, but when I tested this thing out, this thing kicks. And the reason Good, it so kicks... so you turn it to the window there so and crack it open a little for the nearby demo there at the song. Can I show you guys something? That's a subwoofer. <gasps> right? Wow. There's a subwoofer on this thing. So when I tested it in this store, the customers thought we were keeping a dance. But um, it works really well. It's, it's pretty awesome, this thing. And I'm a big mm -hmm. fan of it. And I'm probably going to buy this one. But anyway, there are more. Right? <laughs> Good. Uh, oh, with this. You know, mm -hmm. continue. The curtain, guys. Yeah, we we'll see. We don't, some, some people, everybody have their own preference. Sometimes you don't want to see that. Oh. So you get the length. So you measure from... Top of your window frame. There, the top of your window frame to the bottom down there, so the floor, to see the length of the curtain. And it's written on there mm -hmm. as well when you go in the store. So you'll see 54 by 84, and that's the full length for the curtain. We also have by 90, and I think we also have, is it 82? 54 we'll have, by... we we'll have different lengths. Length. Right. It's so just for you to go and check to make sure whatever you get suits you. Some people don't mind... Some people do. It's based on your taste. Yeah. And then even if it touches the floor, maybe you don't want to drape extensively over the floor. And maybe you don't yeah. want to just put a safety pin and tack it up because that's kind of tacky. Okay. But these are blackout curtains, Ooh. which I thought these were really neat. And metallic. I know this is popular. This, this is a new style for us. We've never had it before. It's a metallic print blackout curtain. And then, of so course, you nice. have your traditional jacca jacquard. Jacquard. The jacquard curtains um, are very, <laughs> very decent as well. And we want to just kind of show you a mix of ideas you can use in your space. Let me take this so quick. Keep talking. I got it. It block right out, you know? Never look at, no look at space for no look at light, look at sunshine. This will go perfect in my room. Oh, you in your darkness place? I like my <laughs> darkness. When time comes for sleep, sleep. Good. Um, by popular request, guys, we will be eventually getting to an info corner that talks about lamps. So we will be doing that as well. Yeah. We saw the comments, guys. We'll see that you guys are asking for stuff. Um, persons had asked for, for beds. We don't have much, but we'll have, we'll have mattresses in store that you can go and look for. Specifically, Iron Street. I don't, I'm not sure if they're in the other stores. But as we say, guys, if you go to a store and you don't see it, you can ask for it, and the store manager there will be happy to help. Oh, a cash box. Fort Moore. <laughs> Leave the people them alone. This might be too small Food. for your mosquitoes. I don't want to have bigger ones, but in the event of that, you could probably stack it onto a fan and hit the mosquitoes with the entire fan. Just, I've seen your mosquitoes. And they must take care of the helicopter. You know the mosquitoes that I'm a Spanish town? I'm a sister O's here, go so them still each on by your hand. This is the you tough go. I went to visit a friend of mine in Portmore like. pre Rona, right? And I tried to hit at the muskets and muskets. Give me that out your hand. So I'm not even about that life with the muskets <laughs> anymore out there. So, um, mosquito rackets, uh, mosquito destroyers, if you want to call them. We have cash boxes. And now, while we still have some time left, it's like a drop. Mm. we're going to drop this mosquito racket on the ground and then put it right back. And then while we still have more I time like the left. Clock. Is a clock? Yes. This is a clock. Two of them. <laughs> and they have artwork in them, paintings and pretty shoes. Our time went and much faster than I thought. Thingy. <laughs> it's so cool. Our time went much, much faster than I thought. Apparently almost all the time. Tell time ago, man. Alright, so while so, you open up that, can I tell you uh, you tell them what it is? Tell them what it is. You can tell them. 
All right, this is a bedding bag, okay? We have comforter sets. We have, you can take out your quilt set from the corner for me, please. The quilt set behind you. We have comforter sets. We have quilt sets. We have bedding bag. We have bed spreads, okay? And we're going to do a quick talk about that. A quilt set, or a quilt in general, is usually a much thinner um, bed topper, all right? It is quilted, so you're going to get this type of pattern. Whatever it is, color, style, you're going to get this kind of quilting on top. It's and it heavier, to wash. but it, it's all, yeah, it's, it is heavier, but it's not as dense as a comforter. So you guys get it's heavier, but not as dense. Cool? Oh, Traditionally, it's a two pocket look. That's very cool. Traditionally, quilt sets will come with just the bed covering, the quilt, and two, what you call, shams, pillow shams, which will go over your decorative pillows for the most part. Now, what you have there is a bedding bag. A bedding bag is exceptional in that a bedding bag will come with your comforter set, or your comforter rather. It will also come with, in some a cases, flat shams. Sheet, a fitted sheet. Flat sheet, fitted sheet, and sometimes pillowcases. Right, yeah. and that is the Sometimes only... Sometimes I come with the skirt, the, the, bed, the ruffle bed ruffle right. as well. Now, occasionally we do get what you use call a bedroom in a bag, which also included the curtains, but those don't come as often because I think people want the option of, you know, picking their own stuff. Yeah. Uh, you also have a bed spread. Now, a bed spread is also a little different. It has a padded top level, but then it just kind of drapes on the sides. Bed spreads are used primarily in beds that are not used often because they're more decorative than functional. And bedspreads, again, like the quilt, will only have like the pillow shams as well as the bed cover itself. What is this have you thrown at me? What is the sheet set? Well, I thought, spread a bit. Okay, um, so we talked about the bedspread set. We talked about, oh, comforter sets. Comforter sets are pretty much basic in terms of, uh, when I say basic, I mean in a bad way. You get your comforter, you get your pillow shams, you might get the bed ruffle in a comforter set. And then you can look on it, guys. They'll tell you a seven-piece, four-piece, three-piece comforter sets frequently will include a decorative pillow in the bag. Okay, so now you can, you know, you get a, a look and feel of the whole nature of how your bed can look by the packaging and the design. Mm -hmm. I like bedding bags. They keep things simple. By the magic of TV, the bed has been made with little, only a little bit of help from our producer. Just a little bit, I promise. Okay. She helped. She helped a lot. She also hit a thoy with a pillow and I'm still laughing at it. Good. It was an accident, guys. No, it wasn't. It was hilarious. Good. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So along with that, guys, we have drawer liner. This is scented drawer liner. Um, Ooh, not, let me smell the purple one. <laughs> not everyone will love these, but some people really, really like it. These are awesome to some people. I think that's lavender. This one is ocean. This is lemon and this is vanilla vanilla good so guys thank you for looking at our we have shoes rack we have shoes rack oh so we have a woman's shoes rack and a man's shoes rack <laughs> is it really or i just mess just around shoes this is a holy point for shoes them. rack and a not so much Excuse shoes rack me. right i can't say that because my father have more shoes than my mother 80 percent of them is the exact same shoe him keep by over and over again i do not understand but anyway we move on all right <laughs> <laughs> and we have full length mirror Full length mirrors yeah. um, and the wall art, guys. You can do so much with your bedroom, guys, with your furniture, with your uh, your TVs, your surround sound systems, or your speaker systems, you your lamps, so your bedside much tables. With your space. What she said. With your space. You can do whatever you want to do with it that make you feel comfortable and happy in your space. It's recap time. We saw all the stuff. And you guys can see more of it. Follow us on our social media feed, www.facebook.com slash B-A-S-H-C-O at Bashka Jamaica on Instagram and Twitter at me at Omar Bashka, her at Queen underscore Athoy. I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.